Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Brenda Ngoli excited as she welcomes first child. For Mamzanzi Magic, the Queen actress Brenda Ngoli is a mother. Now, the talented actress announced on her social media pages and shared the excitement of having the pregnancy journey made easy with the support of her friends, family, and colleagues. So taking to Twitter, she posted the following picture of herself, a selfie with her newborn baby and captioned it, you can add mommy to my title of achievements with a lot of hot emojis over there. So yeah, definitely congratulations to her on that. Now, apart from that, she also shared a TikTok video of her during her pregnancy days and described it as the most precious time in my life. Now, she also went on to give a shout out to the people who stuck by her and made this journey an easy one. She posted the following picture, a collage of pictures and captioned it. This journey has made me appreciative and ever grateful. At the time, there were blistering winds of challenges, tears and laughter. As I thank you all for your wonderful messages, I'd also like to thank my friends, colleagues, family who were there for me. Love you guys. Again, definitely congratulations to Brenda on her first baby. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Trevor Noah explains why he is not beefing with Kanye West. The beef between rapper Kanye West and Trevor Noah reached its peak when the rapper made continuous attacks on Trevor Noah. Now, it first started when Trevor defended Kim Kardashian against Kanye and alluded that the drama would lead to something more dangerous. Now, Kanye West made some racial slurs which got him suspended on Instagram. And Kanye's recent attack was when he said that Trevor Noah is not American, he just looks black. Which I will say after reading comments on my video that I did about this, it does seem that this is a very contentious topic, but I do agree with what a lot of people are saying. Trevor Noah is not American. And indeed, Kanye West did say that. But yeah, getting back to the topic at hand, Trevor Noah taking to his daily show addressed this and said that he does not have anything against Kanye West, he is just concerned. So this is what Trevor Noah had to say, I'm genuinely concerned if someone says to me or to anyone that they have a mental health issue and they say to me and everyone else that they don't take their medication, they are unable to control themselves and then everyone ignores when that person is having an episode and they haven't taken their medication and you give that person a platform i sometimes think it is a little shitty to be honest with you trevor noah then spoke about his own family history with bipolar he went on to say my grandfather is bipolar i'm not saying kanye is but my grandfather was and we knew that when he was having an episode he could act in certain ways or do certain things like take the family car and drive off but our job was to support him and to make sure he takes his medication not to make him go viral for his behavior which I will say is a very great point that Trevor Noah makes over there. It's unfortunate that you know what social media is now a thing. I'm assuming that back in the days, you know, social media wasn't as big as it is now. So yeah, but moving right along, Trevor Noah went on to say that he loves Kanye West's music growing up and still holds him in high regard. He went on to say, I grew up loving Kanye. He is one of the few hip hop artists who shaped the way I see music. The punchlines he had in every single song, it was like listening to comedy. Comedy. He loves stand-up comedy. I grew up loving this man. I still love him despite the shit he talks. So for me, it's not beef. Now, Trevor Noah does actually begin off by saying that he is not beefing with Kanye West because beef, as far as he understands it, is a two-way street. You know, you gotta be beefing with each other. But yeah, Trevor Noah continued and said, for me, I think there are elements when he knows he is being an asshole. He has admitted this. He knows when he is pushing the envelope, but I don't have beef with someone who has expressed that he has a mental health issue. What I do have beef with is us as a society not coming together around a person and saying hi, hi, maybe this is not the moment to put a microphone in your face so that you just go off saying everything. If this is what you want to say when you're on your medication, then that's a different story. 
one thing I will say, whatever is going on between Trevor Noah and Kanye West, Trevor Noah has made it known that he is still bumping to Kanye West's music. He went on to say, I'm still playing college dropout. I'm still playing the music. I still love the man that I think he is. And I understand that he has gone through a lot and I don't take that for granted. But I promise myself that I will never just be the person who sits by and gleefully says things about people that I care about and then also join the group of mourners afterwards and act like I wasn't part of it. Too many people mourn you when you are dead and they don't say anything while you are alive. Trevor Noah said a mouthful, a mouthful of sense in my personal humble opinion. Do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about Trevor Noah addressing those rumored beef that he supposedly has with Kanye West. Our next topic, Unatin Guy hints at being back on television. Unatin Guy's recent post on her social media has gotten her fans thinking that she might be making a comeback on the small screens very soon. Now, the singer and media personality took to a timeline alluding that she was shooting a new show after a year of not being on screen. So she posted a couple of images of herself. Let's actually start off by going through the images. Let's do something a little bit different. So number one, number two, Number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Now she captioned these pictures, the sweet spot, it's aqua season. We've hit the sweet spot with my trainer at PJ underscore Jules. She's got me training six days a week and twice on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. I rest on Sundays. I don't train this hard all year round, but only intensify before major events in my life. I've truly enjoyed the rest of not being on TV for a year, which hasn't happened since 2010. Now that it is shooting season again, to do it for focus, strength, and confidence. Thank you, my friend. So yeah, that is the message that she posted on social media. And like I said, a lot of people are kind of uh, assuming that she will be back on TV very soon. I mean, do get in the comment section down below if you know anything about that. Maybe you're a snitch for someone, a snitch for some publication or a snitch for some uh, show. Maybe she's coming in for the final leg of Idol's essay. <laughs> nah, no, she's not. Our next topic, Natasha Tahane addresses launch breakup rumors. So it is rumored that Orlando Pirates player Tim Bingosi launch dumped actress Natasha Tahane only to get back with his ex. Now following the podcast and chill with Mac G team weighing in on the speculations about a week or two ago, a Twitter user came through to confirm the actual rumors. Now launch and Natasha's relationship has been one that seems to have been a roller coaster ride, especially on social media. Now in a number of past occasions the pair have been rumored to have ended but again they were seen together as now they actually do share a baby together according to the reports now although neither of them have come out to confirm nor deny anything in the past about the breakups they have actually been a hot topic and right now it's been over a year since the news actually first broke which confirmed that the actress and orlando pirate soccer player were indeed a couple now the news was first confirmed by Instagram and Twitter detectives when the two shared posts separately on a Zanzibar trip only for social media detectives to discover that their trips were not all that solo but rather a vacation trip. Now since then the two have been somewhat making sure that every now and then they do throw a spanner in the works to leave most of us confused especially on social media whether or not the two are still an item. From posting each other on social media then deleting all the suggestive posts as as well as unfollowing each other and after all of that they go on to share stories which makes it somewhat clear that they are still an item but yeah like i said about two weeks ago speculations came out that tim bingosi Lodge had dumped natasha tahane and that she had officially joined the single mothers club but the matter has since been fueled after a twitter account posted the following so vele Lodge dumped natasha and goes back to his ex nokpiwa and taking a look at some of the comments to this particular post, one user wrote, 
Natasha Abunagala and Jeugu Tishi Count Cook, we are Papa and tells men how independent she is and how a man is just a luxury to her. No man would stay for that with some laughing emojis. I wonder how that user knows such uh, information. Another user wrote, we only love once bro. If Lorch was attached to his ex, obviously he was going to find a way to get back to her. Mina went back to my ex and she this year. <laughs> Someone is projecting over there. Another user wrote, that's an upgrade in my books. Okay, I mean, we're not about to start comparing women. I mean, that happened last week. We're not doing it again here on the channel. But yeah, like I said, this particular post kind of fueled up those rumors that indeed things are over. Lorch went back to his uh, ex. But another user came through with some interesting information, posted the following picture of Timbinkosi Lorch and captioned it, You really wish Lorch will dump Natasha the way you hate her Lorch at her house on Sunday. Stop celebrating fake news, Twitter man with some uh, tossing something into the dumpster emojis. Now the picture that is posted over there is taken from Lorch's Instagram account and according to what a lot of people are saying, this was taken in Natasha Tahane's house. So of course, going off that particular post and what the user might be alluding at is that, you know what, Lorch is still taking pictures at Natasha's house, so how could they have broken up? But also, do keep in mind that they do have a baby together. It could have been just going there to check up on the baby because I'm assuming maybe the baby is still too young to be out of the house and out and about. So if he was going to be checking up on his kid, he'd be going to the house. But like I said, that's just mere speculation, rumors, all of that stuff. So getting back to I suppose Natasha's response to this, for those that do follow her on TikTok will know that she does use her TikTok videos as a way to subtly address rumors and speculations that arise involving her name. Therefore, it does seem that she is well aware of the ongoing speculations on whether or not she and Timmy Gossi Lorch are still together. So she posted the funny TikTok video which spoke to if you are married into a family as a new wife and a daughter of your husband's family, it is important important to felt it is important to follow their practices even if it is witchcraft hopefully the witchcraft part is a joke i mean eh, we've had enough of abu koko Mawin. destroying soccer players careers but nonetheless the message of that video is very clear that she is a private person and she will keep the matters of her relationship and her household private let me play that video for you guys real quick <laughs> When the law into yens wa kwelo kaya, ba sites into yens wa busuko, toka yengenzasa, undi baka and kwelem child when in the baba, kwela kwelem kono, kwelmele, mamelele. Tau fagumwe, emlilwe ne zigo, hunga kumuti yu mama, ba sites kwene ne wenjenja, lo ma sites no luimi, apelalin, ezizwe. So yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about those rumors that uh, Natasha and Lorch have broken up and Lorch went back to his ex. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.